Hey guys, it's Linux next year, and today's video we are going to be learning how to EQ your audio on Linux. So let's say you have some IMs or maybe some open back headphones or some closed back headphones, you can apply EQs, uh, EQ either EQ profiles or manually like doing your own EQ or adding different filters to customize your audio. So this tutorial is going to be pretty quick. I would say how to do it. Uh, there's two applications. Uh, there is easy effects, which I would say is the recommended one to install and configure on Linux with audio. But there is another one called James DSP. If you're kind of like, don't really want to do any type of like manual type filters. You just want to like apply things and see how it goes. I think James DSP is another good solution for that. So this one we can install. I'm just going to install it through Flathub because that's like rather easy and of course i will leave these links in the description so you can easily grab them but usually uh, on linux when it comes to desktops you can grab the application like through flat hub you can grab it through the store gui stores that you have on your linux uh, desktop environments like kd plasma it's through the discover store if you're on gnome it's through the gnome software store if you're on like cinnamon or something it's through its own little um, gui uh, software store where you can just easily grab these applications so we have grabbed James DSP. We're going to click install now in discover and it's going to install the application for us, which is pretty damn simple, I would say. And as you can see, it is now installed. So if we do launch it here, we can now open up. It says, welcome. Thank you for installing this app. However, before you can begin playing around with James DSP for Linux, we'll need to make some adjustments in order to ensure the best possible experience with JDSP. We hit next and it says, do you want to run this in the background? Uh, and I would say, if you want to use this for your audio automatically, then you want to click on start minimize on the boot so that it applies the effects automatically for you when you boot up the PC. And it says, that's it, you're good to go. You can any choice you just made in the settings section check it out for further customization options visit our telegram community for support and updates so if you do want support or anything you can go to their telegram if you want to like ask questions of like how to do certain things and this is where it will bring you into a bunch of different effects that you can apply to your audio. So for me, I have Truth Ear um, IEMs. I forgot the exact name of them, uh, but they're like blue ones, as you can see right here. I'll show up to the camera. Uh, these Truth Ear uh, critical IEMs, and uh, we can apply some different effects to them. Like we can change our dynamic bass boost, the range uh, commander, we can do uh, analog modeling, uh, we can do sound positioning, reverb, we can do a equalizer, which can hit enable here, and we can enable some different uh, little presets to change some things. Like if you want more bass, for example, on your headphones or something, because maybe they don't have enough bass with its EQ already, well, you can easily do that or do any of the other presets. And there is a Convolver, a DDC, a Live Prog, and a Graphic EQ. So then you can apply presets of other headphones and IEMs to your headphones. So you can uh, enable Graphic EQ, Auto EQ Database, and then it's going to download a bunch of different EQ profiles for you to apply to your IEMs or headsets that you have. So you can apply some of the most like popular IEMs, for example, uh, like if you wanted to try mine out, I'm pretty sure it's like a truth here, critical zero, that's what it's called. I have the blue variant, so it's like the original, uh, and we can grab it from different uh, repos of people who have tested the zero, uh, like this one, for example. And then when you listen to music, it's going to apply that so that you get a different sounding experience for that headset or IAM. And then the other GUI application that I was talking about is called Easy Effects, which is the one that I use personally. So if we do close James DSP and we open up Easy Effects, we can customize a lot in this one. Pretty similar, but I would say it's more like fletched out when it comes to its UI. Uh, it looks a lot more uh, advanced and has a lot more things to show when like you're playing music and all that. It just shows it a lot better, I would say. So we can go to Pipewire and we can uh, change the input and the output. So you can customize your microphone also, uh, which is something I used to do. You can apply effects to your mic to add like a noise gate or some noise suppression or something. Uh, so then, you know, you can just make it sound better. But for the output, uh, what we do here is we can apply all different types of effects, pretty similar to James, but it has a lot more that you can apply, I would say, uh, that just enhances the um, experience with your headphones or whatever it may be. So what I have is just an equalizer. So then I can apply some auto uh, 
EQ profiles of different headsets, similar to what James DSP does. But instead, I go to the auto EQ.app website where I search for different IEMs and stuff. So we can scroll through here. Let's say we want this one, for example. And then we select the audio uh, equalizer application, which is easy effects. So it has one here where we can download the profile. So we hit download, we can save it in documents. And then we go back to easy effects. We then import a preset, which we click on the import preset APO. And then we select uh, the .txt of that um, EQ profile. For, so for example, I have the Moondrop Blessing 2 uh, EQ profile. So I can click open here and it's going to apply it automatically for us. And then we turn the input up a little bit so that we can actually hear it a bit better. And then if we mute our audio here, we can hit play on some music. As you can see, the music is playing. And then you could just easily just change this if we want to, to different uh, profiles, which it is applying. And then like James uh, DSB, if you want to run this at boot time, you can enable it, I'm pretty sure, in preferences, which is launch service at system startup. So that, well, it launches when you boot your PC. And of course, you can customize uh, some of your applications of audio that is playing. So you can see I have Firefox open that's playing audio and then Chromium, which is actually YouTube music that is playing currently. And we can easily just change the audio here if we want to you know, muck around with all that. And we can exclude applications uh, from this. So I would say that is the end of this video. There isn't much else to say about auto EQing on Linux. I would say it's pretty damn easy nowadays with the use of Pipewire to you know, get your audio working and then using these GUI applications to customize your EQ so you can make your audio just sound uh, a little bit better or you want to test out different headsets or IMs to apply to yours. Uh, you can easily do that in Linux today. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely give it a like. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And thank you to my supporters. I'll show a text across the screen. Thank you for giving me money every single month. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.